Are you in the building? Jan's got a plan. Jan's got, got a plan that I think I'm going. Are to you queen? Ben, how are you, Ian? You're over here scaring me. Halloween version of <laughs> Market Mondays. Hey, it's scary out there for some people when they don't listen. Yeah, that, now this childish Gambino picture behind me is kind of feeling a little creepy. <laughs> Very <laughs> tough. I'd right. rather be, uh, uh, what do you call those things? A zombie than fighting a zombie. So, I, you know, I don't know. Random yeah, job. that's interesting. Hey, shout out to Janet. She just held orientation, at UIL University orientation, right before we came on here. So, shout out to all the earners. Welcome yeah. to the family. You met you met the chancellor herself. So, shout out to oh, you, Janet. Oh, before I forget, let me put the link to the stock club. Ian, Ian has everybody already knows about the stock club, but I believe you you combined uh, the holy trinity of investing mm -hmm. in with the stock club, correct? Yes, and then for those who come and pay full price, you also get the sniper set up as well. So sniper set up so yeah, yeah we, we got the link in the uh youtube description i also put it in the chat also um janet with a plan yes what is how are you first of all how are you i'm good i'm tired but i'm good I had to clean my airbnb today okay shout out to all the housekeepers out there <laughs> lights man where, lights where, done. where is your airbnb at it's in providence Providence, Rhode Island. Ladies Rhode and gentlemen, Island, yeah. ever in Providence, Rhode Island, if you're ever. Yeah, hit me up. What, what made you get the Airbnb? Um, I mean, these earners have all these side hustles, and I was inspired. Uh, shout out to Fa and um, Natalie, uh, some earners that were saying, why don't you do that? You've been traveling a lot, so and they do it, and they've been doing really well. So the fear I had, I was just like, you know, if they're doing it, I can do it. And as it's been working out really well. I'm all five stars. Hopefully it stays that way. And I've had it. like 15 people, 15 reservations. This month is my most, most profitable month. So I'm over, I'm at $4,400 this month. So Proud of you. it's going really well. Can we get some claps in? Now we're done. I mean, uh, 4,000. Incredible. EYL University. <sighs> no, EYL University really is an amazing place because it's so important to see people like you doing things. Doing it. Yeah, because yeah. then there's like really no fear. I mean, I can text them if anything comes up and I just feel like I'm good mm -hmm. to go. So yeah, sure. I'm looking into Toro. I plan to start that soon. So I'll keep you guys posted. Shout out to how, how the Toro laws up there. You can do it up in Rhode Island? Yeah. yeah, you can do it. Yeah. Perfect. Shout out to all the Cape Verdeans. Yes. Indeed. Are they in the chat? They Shout out. I saw the one flat. <laughs> I saw one flag. Okay. Two, two. Jan, can we ask a quick question? Real because they, they every week they, they see you, they ask the same thing. Do you what play the it? instruments behind you? I don't I want to ask it too. No, I don't actually. Uh false advertisement. Okay. There you have it. Somebody said hire a cleaning lady. I do have one. She was just sick, so yeah. Yeah, I don't normally do the cleaning, but you have yeah, that's a good lesson in business. You have to be able to do everything if, if things go wrong. Yeah. You gotta get done or I gotta get done. That's a fact. That's uh, right. You got to make it on time for Market Mondays so you don't lose your other jobs. <laughs> Prioritize. <laughs> You're safe. Oh, Prioritize. Yeah, let's get into some questions if we can. All right, let's do it. Uh, Tim, are you on um, yourself, please? We are coming to you. Oh, great. And greetings, greetings. How y'all doing tonight? What's up, Good, how are you? Greetings. I'm well, I'm well. All right, quick question. Um, I was having a discussion with one of my friends and we were... The topic of a big a business brokerage account versus a personal brokerage account. Um, is it better to have a business account? And if so, what's the advantage? Rashad, you want to start? Or you want me to go? Um, you can go. I'll add my two cents in. Yeah, I well, if you're a beginner, I say just to do it out of your personal for your first maybe two or three transactions. Then after that, convert to a business brokerage. It's a couple of tax incentives depending depending on what state you're in. Um, so those are the main reasons. Um, the reason I say to take a couple out of your account, because sometimes people will wait, especially if you're trading, it takes a little bit longer sometimes to get your account open, especially if you're going through Ninja Trader and that may deter people. So I'd rather you get the actual investment in, but after your third or second or third one, yeah, you should definitely move to a business brokerage. Okay. I would say... It depends on what you're looking to do and why you're looking to do it. Um, if you are looking to invest with a group of people, your business partners, uh, then the business brokerage can definitely be something that can be beneficial. Um, 
But the individual side, I think for most people, it's just probably easier. And um, that's going to be something that you probably want to go about as far as on the individual, at least establish the individual first, like Ian said. But um, yeah, if you are looking to invest with groups of people, and we actually spoke about that before, mm -hmm. as far as investing with, we had an investment group, remember? We did. MTI. Money through money, investing. Money through investing. That was our first. That was our first business. Yeah, that was our first business. That was probably twenty years ago. We had an investment group um, with me, Troy. Who else was in that? Jamal. Jamal. And and Greg. Greg. Gee, Troy's what up? Brother. We had an investment group. I forgot about that. So yeah, that's something that we haven't really spoke about a lot. But that's something that is investment club. You can have an investment club, mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily even have to be in business. You can create an LLC. You can pull money together. Have um, you know certain level of governance rules. So you don't want just people just taking their money out randomly. But you talk about group, group economics, that's another way to pull your money and invest yeah. as a group as well. So we can actually speak about that yeah. as far as investing as yeah. a group, but that's something that not a lot of people really speak about, but it, it is beneficial. That's pretty interesting because we hear people doing it in real estate, but you really don't hear people doing it in the stock market. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. then, imagine, imagine being in an investment group with this guy and trying to make a decision. <laughs> It's tough. It's tough. It's tough, yo. But that that that's a great point. We should we should probably be seeing that more in the stock market, where we put some money together and hey, I might not have enough to buy a share of Amazon, but let's pull some money together and if we all agree, let's let's get some shares of it together. So mm -hmm. I love it. I love the idea. I appreciate that. All right, I uh, canceled him. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Yeah, Tim, Come we love back. you. Bro. We love you, brother. That's good. Keep the screen funny. All right, you guys ready for the next call? Yeah, was that somebody's doorbell? Well, rest in peace to AJ Johnson. Yeah, that was me. Oh, yeah. yeah true. And he's out, right? Yes. Yeah, rest in peace. He's out. Idalia Costa. I mean, you said, yeah. to you. Ian out? Ian? Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Hi, everyone. Um, shout out to Troy and Rashad. It was nice to see you guys out in Greenberg um, this oh. weekend. Thank you for coming. Appreciate yeah, that. It was, it was really nice. And I'm, yeah. I'm a teacher with the DOE. So um, shout out to all the NYC DOE teachers. Um, we're back in school and it's really into the thick of it, as I've been saying all week. Mm -hmm. And um, Janet, I'm from Rhode Island originally. So shout out to all the awesome Cape Verdeans. It's an amazing place. So I go there like every month. Um, thanks for calling on me. I'm always asking like, what I think are stupid questions, but I think there's a lot of beginners that kind of need help. So um, here goes. Uh, Ian, I've, I'm a member of Red Panda now. I joined in um, June or July. And- um, Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been good so far. Um, I, I watched the presentation over the weekend a few times, and I know you mentioned a lot about risking one to gain 100. Um, and I mean, that obviously it seems like very simple and makes sense, but if someone's like very new, like what, what do you mean by like, like a percentage wise? Like, so like, let's say I have a hundred dollars and I'm ready to start like practicing. Do I take the whole hundred dollars? And how do you know how much you're going to make? Like, how do you know you're going to make a hundred by spending one? Like there's that, really that's, no a, no. that's a great question. So it, it happens a lot faster with tech, but let's use Nike as an example. So if I say... 127.50 is a good place to get into Nike. You can multiply that times 100 to know what the exit is going to be over a 10, 15, 20, 30 year period. Now, it happens a lot faster with technology companies as a result. Um, but let's say if you got a company and you bought it at 10 bucks, you will mu multiply that times 100 to then get your target where it would be um, 10 to 20 years later. So if you look at Apple, the real price is not reflected because they split a bunch of times. Same with Tesla after the split, they're a lot higher than what they would be, but that's how you would risk $1 to then make a hundred. So take whatever you invested into that stock, multiply, multiply it times a hundred and that will give you your target. For so it. it's more about like figuring out when you're going to exit, like how much, like- That tells you what your exit out. should be. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So like, it's just hard for me. I mean, I'm not ready to swing trade anyway. I'm, I have no discipline and I'm not listening to you most of the times. Like you say things and then you tell us like, oh, don't do this. Like, don't doubt yourself. So I, I like jump out of things because I have like- I do the same thing. confidence is like yeah. ruined if I like- We're all guilty. Don't worry. Listen, all of our rules came from me messing up. I know you guys see me here, 
But that big, thick playbook that you saw, that's, think of every note that I've ever said on here or in that playbook as an error that I made. I was telling yeah. Dom and Peters earlier in Dream Team, like at one point in 2016, I was 92.3% on the quarter and I changed what I was doing in trading. Mm -hmm. We all do. Yeah, it. It's just sometimes I guess I have to learn the hard way. I mean, you literally say, don't do this. And then I, I end up going to do it. So I'm not, you know, I don't have the discipline yet. <laughs> Um, but I am just curious about it. Cause I'm like, okay, what if I'm ready? And, and, you know, I made the practice trades and I'm starting to do all this stuff. Like, you know, once I yeah. feel like I'm ready, but right now I'm just trying to do two tech and two index. And I'm probably, if you do that, you'll be happy. Trust me. Anybody that's ever traded, you guys can put it in the comments. Have you ever traded a stock? And then you guys wish you would have held it for 10 or 15 years. There isn't that one person I know that wouldn't change. Um, the, the swing trading, is to add more capital so you then can take that money and put it back into the long term. But if you feel like you'll get diminished any returns from doing so, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate your honesty. Don't worry. Yeah. We, we've all been there. And thank you. Thank you for coming to Greenberg. We appreciate everybody that. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that, that came, came out. out to Greenberg. Shout out to Jamal Thomas on the school board doing great things for Central Seven School District. Um, I'm sure we'll be working with him to make um, our school district a much better place. So shout out to everybody. You starting your campaign already for president. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well played. A much better well place. Played. Yes. Oh man. We, yeah. You gonna be Lorenz Tate or, or St. Patrick? Which one you gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, make it a better tomorrow for Greenberg. There you mm -hmm. have it. That's a good slogan. There you have it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in our community and other communities, too. We just don't want to, you know, spoil our community with the riches. We're going to come to other communities and, and, and do events and give back uh, because it's important with people from that community. So, yeah. Yeah. Shout right. out to everybody. Very important. Jan, who we got? Darlene, level up. We are coming to you. That's a nice name. Go trademark that. Um... Tasha, what's up? Shout out to Tasha Young. Oh, so she has an older version of Zoom. So just don't turn on your camera. But I have to make her a panelist. So I guess what happened last time with the last guy that came on. Mm. Okay. That was a first I got a thing. warning this time. Oh, yeah, she's there. She's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Darlene. She always joins book club and, and reads and she has questions and we love her. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for letting me on. I have to update my Zoom. Um, hi, Janet and Troy, Rashad, and Ian. How are you? Um, I'm doing great. Um, you know, EYL is a constant opportunity to learn. And um, we have had really the great privilege of reading as part of the EYL University Book Club, um, The Intelligent Investor um, by Benjamin Graham. Mm -hmm. And we had a really um, just amazing conversation a couple of uh, Saturdays or Sundays ago about the book. Um, and one of the things I think that a, a bunch of the earners um, were mentioning in the comments is that we cover so much through the EYL platform, but I think a lot of us felt like we had a deficit in bonds and knowing about bond plays and what the role of bonds in our portfolios might be when, you know, is it good to get bonds, bad to get bond in a market like this where stocks are falling? Is that a bond play? Interest rate? I mean, so um, it's, a, it's kind of a big question, but is there anything you could say about bonds based on what's happening in the market today? If you're younger than 50 years old, don't touch them. It's my favorite thing to trade in the futures market. Shout out to the Snipers, Dream Team, Apex Family. On the trading side, I love it. But if you look historically, the market that we are in now and the market cycle that we're in now is not the same market cycle from 20 years ago and definitely not when that book was written. Um, because if you, and we've covered it before in other Market Mondays, but I want you guys really quick to Google what the returns were for bonds over the last 10 years and compare that versus tech, you would be beating me and Rashad down if you were invested in bonds versus anything tech related. And then also, if you look like bonds, if I look at the bond future, it was at 249 in March. It's now at 200. It's a good defensive move if you are older, but if you're younger than 50 years old, 
please leave them alone. Leave them alone. You can look at TOT as an example. Um, it was at a high 179.70. So now 151. You would have been losing money in one of the best markets of all time. Same with gold. Everyone's like, gold is the best thing to invest in as a good hedge. It's not. It's not. That was the. Yeah, and that was the exact answer when I asked Shadi. Like, I think he, we had our first sit down. I'm like, yo, tell me something about bonds. He's like, you, you, like yeah. Yeah, you're too young. You don't even know about that yet. Yeah, it doesn't. How about for our 50 plus earners? Because we have a 50 plus club here at UL. You. I mean, we can have a class about it. We can have a class okay. about it. Even then, I still think that even, you know, yeah. such a conservative play if you don't have a substantial, like a really, really substantial. Yeah. yeah, can we be honest? If you don't have $10 million or $5 million invested, you probably shouldn't be touching bonds. It's a defensive move to not draw down a bunch of your capital upon retirement. It's not an accelerator. So, so would, you, you have, would you recommend target date funds? Because a lot of them have them. One, one thing, yeah, target date funds are good, but we talk about balance funds. I spoke about that a few times in my uh, financial planning class, which a balance fund is a 50% bond, 50% uh, equity portfolio. So that's something that if you want to be a little bit more conservative, there are some good balance funds. Fidelity has a great balance fund. Like mm-hmm. there are some good balance funds that, you know, have a blend of stocks and bonds combined in it. But just to be 100% in a bond market, like I said, I mean, it's a waste for most people. And even 50 right now is not really old. Like, you know, you're still because you're going to live to 90. Yeah, exactly. Or if you're 50 plus, you have somebody that's 25 to 30 that you're taking care of. Mm. You still need if we're going to have an honest conversation about our, our, our community as you level up because you're blessed with that money, there's more people you have to take care of. So the normal allotment of, hey, invest from 25 to 55, aggressive, then at 50 plus, we taper off. There's someone in the family that you're going to have to help or charity. You're still going to need some gains or your costs for health care are going to go up dramatically. Yeah. Yep. So the bonds, like I said, even if you're 50 and over, I still think that you should have equity positions. You might be a little bit less risky. You might be in, you know, an index fund. You might be in a balance fund. You might be in a target mm-hmm. fund. But just to be in a, in a straight bond portfolio, that's not probably something that most people are going to benefit from. Right. Because it's not going to earn a lot. And like I said, it's, it's we could talk about muni bonds, but, you know, if you don't have millions of dollars that, you know. That's not worth it. And if you got millions of dollars here, 3% tax-free, that makes a difference, you know. But other than that, I mean, you have $100,000 invested, 3%. You know, that's not going to change your life. Then you're going to see Danny Doge run up a move on Solana or something. Then you're going to be upset. And, and this is a true test. Like when you are invested in great companies and a great portfolio, you don't get jealous of other people's moves. That's how you know if you're in a good portfolio or not. Like the ones that are fly by night that go up two, three hundred percent, you won't feel some sense of like you're missing out. The bond thing is. So go look at what Bill Gross had to say about the bond market billionaire he, he should be on the show this year i'm gonna speak into existence so, so. all right thank you next question or thank you darlene thank you great question you guys want to take another question yes, yes. Sure. Cool. all right so let's go to javante meet yourself please yo 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 how you doing Oh, you got a, a, with something. The value got to come down. Or, or yeah, lower your maybe on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Working. Oh, I got two. All right, we live. Yes. Yeah, we definitely live. What's going on, bro? I'll meet yourself, please. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes, how are you? All right, man, I'm, I'm glad y'all stayed. Y'all cut me off with Mark Cuban, but y'all wasn't playing. <laughs> Can't waste time. Can't waste time. All right. Uh, so, how, okay. My question is: how, With all these great companies, y'all done asked, y'all done mentioned, how do you invest in all of them? Like, don't do we just just two take two index? Okay, just, we mentioned probably. I probably mentioned forty great companies since the show started. Do, would you like forty children running around in your household? Hell no, I got one so of them four right now with the door closed. You hear me? <laughs> You're a real parent. Shout out to all my parents. So four is an easy number to manage because truth be told, you can't do enough analysis on 25 or 30 companies. Four is the best way to go. Now we just give more for variety. 
but four is definitely the way to go. And ask anyone in the comments, ask them right now. And also put this in, in chat. If you guys have more than 15 companies in your portfolio, if you're stressed the hell out, please put I'm stressed in chat. <laughs> I'm stressed. Hey, I got one more thing. Go ahead. I talked to Troy and Tulsa, and I told Troy, hey, man, y'all need to get some stickers, like some decal stickers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back when Apple, I don't know, well, y'all do know Apple. When Apple first started, they sent out uh, they sent out little stickers for their mm -hmm. box, and, you know, everybody put them on their cars and all and all that kind of stuff. So y'all done gave me so much game. I just feel y'all should get EYL parking stickers. Like, you know, like when y'all went to college, you know, parking yeah. stickers, you can get an EYL parking sticker. So I just yeah. thought I- For the laptop, the laptop, yeah. the laptop, yeah. the laptop I appreciate also- that, yeah. You know, it's just, That's it's nice. hard to say things because everybody just steals ideas these days. And originality is at an all time low. Quit and jacking our shit. That's what he wanted. I'm gonna say it for him. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. It's well, I call it a price because Ian and then Tuesday, once again, we didn't say the disclaimer. If you take our information, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> I don't want to see my prices on Twitter tomorrow and then be like, well, Ian never said because he ain't for the culture. He, <laughs> don't call my prices. <laughs> Touch me enough. Please don't. I'm telling you, I'm on one today. I got time. <laughs> I got some sleep. My baby good. Hey, listen. Tap got me hype. He was with raw. Hey, yo. Hey, Javon, be... hey, you know, the crazy thing is the decals, that was probably one of the first things we had. When I would walk around with the computer, I had that on the back of my computer. Like you said, the problem is that originality. Um, and it's. It, I'm not saying that's something that we don't have in the works. So I'll just, how, can I, I'll say that to you. But yeah, we definitely got to do the sticker thing. It's like Supreme with the sticker that's thing. Smart. I just, we got to have a conversation. Over. I just don't understand how people just are so comfortable just... Um, but just no originality and just still like you just do something and then they just try to they don't even remix but it. this is a good point still if I can be honest you can't share your best there's two frames of thought share every idea let it get to the public da, da, da. you notice don't never listen to what I say look at what the top 1% do and the top 1% companies Apple do doesn't even have social to tell you what they're going to do Google never leaks anything out to you Nike never tells you what colorway is coming out until they have someone promoting it. Keep your ideas in-house. Otherwise, people are going to steal. And I'm going to tell everybody here that wants to be trading educators, it is not the right business to be in. So if you're copying me, you're copying the wrong model for the wrong thing I'm going to do. Decoy, enjoy the poison pill. Create the vision that you want to see to help my entire model. You can copy this. Help the most and make people money in advance then they'll give you the money. My entire blueprint is to make people to bag first and then you come pay me after. Provide the value. The Your money. value. Mm -hmm. so, and be solid, as 19 will say. 19 say you keep all the relationships intact because you don't ever do anything, no sucker shit. That's yeah. real. That's a great business lesson. Keep it solid, you understand me? Shout out to 19 keys. <laughs> you understand me? <laughs> Hello. Jan, what we got? We got one more? Yeah, let's take one more. Uh, let's do Karen Tinley. Unmute yourself. Oh, this is a new name. Uh oh, Karen, how are you? Hey, Karen. How are you doing? Great. How are you? How are Good. You? Thank you. So my question is one that I, I probably kind of know the answer to. But essentially, when I first started investing, I didn't have a lot of money. So I got in at the beginning of the pandemic at a really good price on, on a stock. I won't say the stock. I know you guys don't want to do No, that. you can say it. Say it. So uh, on CrowdStrike, oh right? Hey, so okay. I, hey. Ian, hey. hey, we just had a conversation about this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, also, great job, Queen. You got to know what, 60 something? Mm, no. Better? No, I got in a little high. I got in higher than that. It was like 96. That's a great price. I mean, it's only at 257, so. Great job. <laughs> I mean, but the problem is I didn't have a lot of money, <laughs> so I didn't buy a lot of shares. <laughs> and so That's it's always gone, a trade-off. Right, yeah. So now it's gone up, and I was like, okay, let me put the money elsewhere in other stocks. So what is your advice in regard to um, adding to my position on CrowdStrike? So... This always happens. Either we put too much money into a bad stock that doesn't work, or mm -hmm. we put too little into a winner. Mm -hmm. um, 
CrowdStrike is going to be here for years. The next price I'll probably get in would be like 174. If you're okay. rushing to get in 207, but 174 is a good area. And I will gradually add to, let me check and see what the price would be in five years from now. Give me one second. Yeah, for people asking what is CrowdStrike, it's a cybersecurity company. And so we talked about the two leading cybersecurity companies. We talked about Zscaler. Yeah, um, CrowdStrike. Um, yeah, Trap mentioned this when he was on here what, last year. Last yeah. year, he talked about CrowdStrike. That was something yeah. big on. Um, so, yes, yeah, that, you know, I just want to. Yeah, in, in three years, it should go to four forty seventy three, four hundred forty dollars and seventy three cent. And okay. in five years, the max price should be six ninety ninety eight. So you have room for it to run. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about the feeling that you have, but pat yourself on the back for getting into a great company at a great price, and keep adding to those winners. I think CrowdStrike especially with all the iterations of security breaches, they'll probably be one of the top three companies over the next 10 or 15 years in, in that space. But for those of you in IT, please put in chat what your commentary is on CrowdStrike, but it is hands down one of my favorites. Mm. Shout out okay. to Trap. Yeah. All right. Much appreciated. So basically average up. You have to add to it. Yeah. Okay. You, all you right. have to add to it. But I will say the next one that you have that conviction in and research, you may mm -hmm. want to put a little bit more size onto that one, but make sure the company is just as good as CrowdStrike or better and then add to it. Um, yeah. And you can look at CrowdStrike at the same way that I do Apple. Every year, people were telling me it was going to go down every year. And then here we are. CrowdStrike will have a good impact on the market over the next five or 10 years for sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, Karen. Thank you. It's a great question. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell us. Okay. Can I run through the schedule for EYLU this week? You know what, Jen? Why don't you run through the schedule for EYL? Thank you. Yeah. Great idea, Troy. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow we have the real estate fireside chat at 6.30. Wednesday, as you guys already mentioned, we have the investment group chat with the, uh, is it the, who, who is with you guys again? Uh, Cole Mafia and some of us in the you know, cocky ass thing. No, you know I, everything. I know Ian, but it was somebody else too. Francis, Chico, Chico, Chico. Francis. Yeah. All right. So that's Wednesday. Thursday, we have break bread with MG. We haven't had it all oh month. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a good one. Friday, the health and wellness club is meeting at seven. And then Saturday, we have earners meeting all over the country for the first ever nation nationwide earners. Yeah, that's hard. So yeah, that's, that's if hard. you are part of EYL University. So um, email they me. Have, have they have one in Detroit? Detroit? Yes, they are. Yeah, uh, Detroit, them. Boston, New York, Atlanta, Oakland too, right? Texas. Oh yeah, everywhere. Houston, oh, hit me. Whenever so, y'all doing y'all thing. So that's Saturday, and then Sunday we have our second session on the investment, the intelligent investor, and um, we will hey. be a listening party again right before the meeting starts. So at two o'clock we'll listen for an hour, and then we'll start the discussion at three. And that's all we got this week. So okay, there you have it. The world famous stock club. Jan, we got a listening party this week. You have heard about we it. We do. Um, I, I'm probably going to add another one. I was thinking about doing one on Wednesday, but got the listening party. Okay. 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 All right. We'll 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 put it up. Um, okay. The world famous stock club. Ian Dunlap uh, has put this together. Red Panda. If you a lot of times people might have heard of Red Panda, but they're not familiar with Red Panda is Red Panda is the uh, greatest company on earth to tell you what to invest in. Legendary. I'm working on my segues and talking points too. <laughs> there you have it. I don't even. I don't even need. He, he, he did it for me. L listen, Nova Grant stamped it. Bonowin came on here. Shout out to my guy. Stamped it. Josh, don't come and lend his platform to anybody. He stamped it. Barack Obama gonna stamp it in the future. What else y'all want, man? <laughs> come on, baby. I am who y'all think Kathy was. Is shout out to the queen though. I'm just telling y'all, like. This is for entertainment. Yes, I love this energy, Ian. The, the suit is this, this is my I got time tea. Dragon energy. <laughs> this is with Diddy. Shout out to Diddy. Yeah. A hero to us all. <laughs> Absolutely. Black Him and JD got to do that battle, though. He, uh, this is just marketing and trading has considerable risk. Kathy, I love you. Ark, I love you. Please don't, you know. Shout out to JD, but Diddy was talking spicy. Real spicy. And there was no, there was no answer. I don't know, man. JD throwing some of that, some of that usher. I have to talk to JD about this. There was lack. Of, there was a lack of an answer. Shout out to Atlanta, mm -hmm. but there but, was dragon energy in the building. That's a fact. It it's a good lesson in that too, from a branding standpoint. You can't let certain people 
claim to be your competition because it then tears you on that level. Mm. You can argue that Diddy is on a certain level. Um, so from a brand and a perception standpoint, I get why Diddy didn't reply and why he said he wanted Drake, even though th- that would never happen. But why do you think that would never happen? Drake because, said he early, he said, but that Teddy Riley thing threw him off when that audio he said he, he <laughs> I mean for the same reason when people have issues with me, like I'm trying to be in Tudor Jones's class, Buffett class, Bill Ackman. I'm not looking at anyone in the retail space. It's a posit like. So that's why I'll say, hey, I'm I'm up here because you Little Wayne proved it. Jay proved it. You can speak what you want into existence. But I think sometimes we don't dream big enough to say. Hey, we should be looked at in this light. Mm-hmm. So if you don't tell people where to position you, they're going to position you on a lower rung. Let's be honest. JD probably is one of the greatest producers of all time, but the media and his PR has not pushed him towards that. Did he have to angle himself towards Dre? I'm not, I don't even like that matchup, to be honest with you. Dre? I don't either. Or did he? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. they're both billionaires. So, well, yeah. I mean, from that standpoint, it makes sense. But from, yeah. I think, I think Puff needs two verses. I think he needs an RB versus and he needs a hip hop versus because if he combines both, it's, I mean, it's going to be tough to. Nobody is better than Diddy. I don't, I can't, I, I don't know somebody. Nobody beats Diddy. Yeah. yeah. In my opinion. That's a tough one. My humble New York bias. <laughs> no. I mean, real, like, like he can play okay. damn near all the life after and Nobody. get 14 points. And I'm a Tupac fan. It's a, it's the R&B, you can say JD, because JD got a lot of R&B hits. Yeah. Hits, when, you, when you do the rap, when you do the rap, yeah, I, this is, shout out to Kenny Burns. Shout yeah. out to V103. Shout out to Kenny, yeah. <laughs> Kenny going crazy Kenny's, right now. Mm-hmm. He's not happy about this at all. Shout out, to Kenny, <laughs> shout out to Kenny Burns. That's my brother. Thank you for having me on the show every Monday. I appreciate it. Shout out to V103. He had Jermaine Dupri on today, and uh, I told him, I said, Kenny, JD, what is JD going to do when Puff starts playing rap? What is he going to, when he starts playing the Benjamins, when he starts playing Biggs Catalog, when he starts playing Chris Cross, when he starts playing a He lot. can play some shit off that 1472, though. He, he got some joints with Jay and that. Let's not play. All right, money ain't a thing, but that's, he got to stay in that R&B bag, that Mariah, what, that Usher bag. What is he going to do when he starts playing Mace? Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. He put mm-hmm. a shine record on. He put a black rob record on. It's gonna be difficult. He starts shaking with the D- G Dep records. Confessions, the one G- of the G Dep, one of my favorites of all time. Yeah, that's one of the best time. albums of all time. But he ain't right records. The Emancipation of Mimi. These are big. No, they huge records, right? But there's, mm-hmm. I told you, there's a certain affinity that women have for Mary J. It's not the same affinity for Mariah. No, and she's a huge. But you can't argue like if that dear Mariah go back like, hey, Mariah got some. She does. Oh, she oh, has some ones. Oh, Let's not act like she the queen. She a diva, but she's a queen. No, no. That I hits. mean, I think that would be a dope versus Mariah and Mary J. I think that would be a dope versus, but <sighs> there's just a, dirt, a different I feeling with women and Mary J. That's a good That's matchup. Different. That's crazy. Yeah, I think that would be a dope one. Mariah, so Mariah? Mariah and Mary J. Mariah and Mary J. That's different. Because dope is, 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 yeah, she has, dope is she has the most number ones play. ever of anybody, right? She has like twenty yeah. number ones. But, but but what about JD's point of him actually producing? Well, that's that's, a, that's, that's, tough. that's a good. But point. that could be the same argument for Dre. That's a good point. Dad Dillinger produced a lot of those records. Scott Storch Shout out to my guy, Dad. Yeah, Scott Storch produced a lot of them records. He, he's still more of a producer than Diddy. If we go on just with songs that Diddy executive produced. I mean, it's tough. That's I'm, I'm still. We even, I didn't even say the Jodeci catalog. That's impossible. Because the Jodeci, no, said, you got one twelve. You got Jodeci. You got Notorious B.I.G. You got Carl Thomas. You got Total. Mace. You got the Locks. You got Total. You got Black Rob. You got G. D. Hanna. You got. Yeah. He got his own catalog himself. He put out a bunch of albums. No way out, low key. You got yeah, that play me. album like, was slept he on. Can play, he got some joints. Yeah, he got some joints. He, he, he can play "Hate Me Now." Songs he, like he that, where he's just on, like, yo, yeah. I was in the arena war when he came out to when I was in high school. So, oh, he shook that, that building, in, yeah. In, in, in remix. yeah. Like, he needs a hip hop, and it can't be 20 songs, they gotta have like a whole two hour 40, session. No, they need just 40, let go. 40, 40 songs, yeah. yeah. Need 40 songs, no time for fate. Shout out to Chris, shout out to, shout out to Swiss <laughs> Beats, man. It's been amazing <laughs> with him and Timbaland have been able to put together with verses. Mm-hmm. We should definitely have a uh, conversation with Swiss Beats, EYL, Swiss yeah. Beats collaboration, long overdue. long overdue, and Timbaland too with that beat club. Yes. Somebody that valuation for beat club is yes, they changed the game, man. They're on yeah. 
Time Magazine's most influential people of the year. Rightfully so. They had a very, very big moment. Rightfully so. So, um, all right, before we end, um, I, I want to remind you guys that we will be in Detroit, Michigan on Friday, oh, Sloppy yeah. Crab, the whole gang. Um, we're going to be out there for the weekend. So come 6 o'clock, but RSVP is on our website, on the events tab. Uh, this Wednesday, YouTube, 8 o'clock, Ian Dunlap, uh, Francis from Cheat Code. We will be going over investing. Our investing group chat call for EY University will be open to the public on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Big, big. And Ryan Wilson, superstar entrepreneur out of Atlanta, Georgia, tomorrow. That is really, really dope. Shout out to the gathering spot. Shout out to um, AC3 Festival. Yeah, man. That's huge. Speaking of of Detroit, uh, we got to talk about this this, this fine company from Detroit. So this episode of Market Money (laughs) by Ally Financial. Uh, Ally is an option if you're looking to bank or invest. Ally Financial is the leading digital service, financial service company with passionate customer service and innovative financial solutions. They are relentlessly focused on doing it right and being a trusted financial service provider for both communities and customers. Get with Ally to make the most of your money so you can save, invest, and spend on things that matter to you. Shout out to the good folks. We are looking forward to seeing uh, you and getting a nice tour uh, of the building. So somebody somebody said... uh, um, no, but they said Rashad Bug and Puff got mad R&B acts. I know what I'm saying. They, we he, said that. He, yeah, we said that. Um, Diddy versus Birdman will not, would not be a good. Come on. What that? Somebody on YouTube. Jim. No. Kanye, Get their name. Kanye West. They suspended. I can't Kanye. see the comments right now. <laughs> Kanye West needs two versus battles. He needs a producer versus battles versus. And an artist, yeah. He needs a, a rap versus battle versus. Drake, is he Drake or Jay? We're not gonna do that though. Jay Z or Jay Z. That's not right. Them or two L's. That's not right. No, I know, that, I know a lot of earners and YouTubers are mad at the top five. His top five? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. So. <laughs> they still. I can't about. wait to see you, the comments. You want to redo your top five? <laughs> I don't know how you do a top five without having Drake and Kanye. <laughs> Why did I bring this up? <laughs> now you said artists, right? They gotta be in there. Drake. Versus Kanye, big extreme. Drake wins it. Wins it on on what level? That's more hits. More hits. Twenty songs. Twenty. Drake can put up a forty piece. I'm saying, if you just do twenty. Yeah, they can't do twenty. The rules got to change for them. But it's not always the most hits. It's the songs that hit. Start Kanye and, got and speed. how it goes. He yeah. plays that Good Morning when he plays the Good Life. When he plays these songs off, I'm of- from the Midwest. I listened to the premiere of Through the Wire when it came on Power 92. Through the Wire, I'm telling you, <laughs> stadium music. Okay, yeah, stadium music. Shout right. out DJ Ferris, Money Mayha. This generation doesn't know those records. They know, they know Easy's. His fans know the records. I, of course, we know the records, but the people like will be in the comments and trolling. Like, look at these young kids, man. Shout out to yeah. y'all. Y'all won't listen to Kanye. I'm not talking to y'all. Yeah, y'all listen over to the chat. Y'all, y'all won't listen to these go get us. Oh, old Kanye. Sound like yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Kanye West. Shout out to Swiss Beats, man. Versus, yeah, I, I'm really, really, I, I'm a big fan of the Versus Battle. And shout out to Ja Rule. Shout out to Fat Joe, EYL alumni. Mm. Um, that was an epic Versus. Y'all came to perform. Showed out. Ja Rule, a living legend. <laughs> ja might. Does he deserve a spot on the mantle? Yes, he does. He does. Shout, he does. Out, shout out to my You said yes? The Benny Vetti Vici album. Shout out to my brother Chris. <laughs> God. Shout out to my brother Chris Gotti. Nah, 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 shout out to my brother Chris Gotti, man. Shout out to Ja Rule. Shout out to Ashanti. Um, he got a great hits album. He should. He should definitely. He should have. Mm-hmm. Ja is a perfect example of letting not not letting a person reposition you. He is the karaoke it's a classic prime prime champion. example. Yo, karaoke champion. Yo, he hasn't won in thirteen years. Hasn't won what? Like in anything that fire festival in the culture, I was just happy. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I just really was happy for him. I I, I like Josh. Uh-huh. I like Josh. And because that one time, let's be honest, he was the guy. He, he was the was he, the one. And if that rapper, that's, you know, he was Jay great. and was Josh great. album came out like how and the ego. That's why I would say ego ruins everything. He if that great. Murder Inc. album would have came out, he was Drake for four years. 
He was never Drake for four but years. He was hot for four years. He was no, he was the hot. He was the number the one. He was the number one artist it's in the world Drake. for four years. Not Drake, though. He was Drake for four years before I, Drake. I, he was definitely Drake for me, anyway. Damn, what are you doing? <laughs> she said for me. Middle school, high school. Janet loved Ja Rule. That's for sure. What would I be without you? Uh, like low key, Vinny Vettivici. That's why I say, does he deserve a spot in the middle? Of, of all time. No, I'm just saying up here. Oh, the mantle. Mark Mondays, we put him up on the middle. You have Childish yeah. Gambino up. That's for yeah. artwork, bro. <laughs> That's for artwork. How can you shout out to Childish Gambino? They said no. Damn. All right. I bro. mean, not even one Monday. You have. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a find it. I'll find it. I'll you find have it. Childish yeah. Gambino. That's for artwork. That's for artwork. He's a great artist. That's a dope. Yeah, he's, he's a dope artist. He's artist, but let's be honest. Nah, nah, that's just artwork. Let's be honest. Because I, I, I really wanted to put up Tribe Called Quest. One just don't put up Ja versus 50. I don't want that. Nah, I would uh, never do that. Nah, yeah. Nah. Our, our albums have to like each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Synergy. Yeah. Going to keep peace. Right. That's not the fun yeah, square that, that, yeah. the whole situation. They got to get along. I need to see Nas in a versus. That would be unfair to a lot of people. To almost everybody. Because they, they think he don't have no hits. Listen. Why do they think Nas doesn't have? It's not even about It's, it's branding. They think in number one records. It doesn't matter. That's it's, what they it's powerful music. It's impacting. <laughs> and when it's played, it, it, it's a perfect stage for people that can MC well. But Everybody can... that can MC well. Nah, Mike, we can't do that. We can't do that. We can't. Have... He said Nas and Rakim. Nah. That, that's nah, too that ain't fair. They're going to be like, who's that guy with Nas? And don't put him against like a common. Like, you Who to... could go Nas go against? I think that's unfair for almost everybody. I don't think he. I don't think he's gonna. He, he would do it. Yeah. He don't really have that personality. He'd be doing stuff like that. Busta rhymes, no way. No, no, Busta no. needs one, but I don't know. Busta gonna watch a lot of people. Yeah, yes. a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, this is our rap segment. And don't. Me. I know a lot of y'all don't like him. Don't play with that boy. I'm from the Midwest. I, I told. Don't walk up that tree. That tree will fall. Please off. stop. I have, I have never listened to an Eminem album. You know what the best selling album of all time in hip hop is? Yeah, we know. The Marshall I'll say this, rap wise, a lot of people ducked him when he was coming for that ass, though. Some of the greats. So I, I had play with that boy. I'll, I'll be honest, I had two. I had the Marshall Mathers LP, and then I had um, the the joint where he's on the curtain. He has a curtain in the front. Is I that think, Encore? Was anybody in our high school recovery? Yeah. Nah. Was anybody in our neighborhood debating about Eminem lyrics? Yes, after he smoked Jay on Renegade. So that's 98. Bro, come on. Shout out to everybody at Rock Nation. That's, Shout out to that's, that, that that's was... Nas. That's because Nas said it. But that's 2000 by the time he said it. 98, he was like, yo, damn, that really happened? Did Jay just get it? Like, I, he walked on? I've never been in a car with, with people playing Eminem. Never. <laughs> the Eminem show, that's what it was. I've never heard Watch Eminem. Watch LP and Eminem show. I've never heard Eminem playing in a car. The way Look, you guys your voice. Jesus started. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to M. Shout out. We going to Detroit, you doing this? No, yeah, no, Royce, pull up. To Detroit. Yo, shout, shout out to Eminem. Yeah, shout, shout, yeah. shout out to Royce. Trick, trick. trick. Shout out Yo, to we Detroit. love y'all, man. Yeah. B12, I had the album, so. No, nah, I'm just being Corey, honest. Corey, call Royce and make sure we straight. <laughs> check in. You know, check all the boxes, all that, like, Joe, you know, and that. you, call. You know, we pull up playing T. Grizzly when we come to Detroit. And we might pay a little Big Sean. But that T. Grizzly. Big Sean, a living legend. Yeah, for real. Grizzly. Somebody said, what about female rappers? Don't, let's Nikki, talk about Nikki it. Minaj. We don't want to have this conversation because they don't want to hear it. Nikki D probably the greatest of all time. I'm probably, no, 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 it's, not probably. probably all. it's not probably the greatest of all time. By a landslide. The only person that could, that could get in the ring with her, Lil Kim. Rhapsody. Songs. Uh, rap wise. What'd you say? <laughs> I was just Rhapsody, <laughs> rap wise. I'm, I'm not talking verses. I'm oh, just lyric, talking rap lyric, wise. Lyric. Yeah. I don't know one, I don't know one lyric, but uh, shout out to her. Shout out uh, to Rhapsody. Dope. She's shout dope. Out to shout Rhapsody. out to Rock Nation. Shout out to Rhapsody. Buddy. Yeah, she's dope. Yeah. Dope. Nikki is another one of repositioning, and that's what happens when an entire company attacks you at one time. Yeah, I Nikki's know. probably the greatest okay. female rapper all the time. I know people would say Lauren Hill. We Lauren Hill, obviously. Lauren Hill has we got one, one album. album. She has one album. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it to death. But Lauren Hill is definitely. Dope. I'm gonna I'm keep my mouth shut. I don't need any. No, no, speak, to please. Not nah, Jack. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm enjoying this conversation. You don't love Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Oh, I love Lauren Hill. Oh, one, yeah. She has one album. One of the greatest albums. Well, Missy versus Nikki would be dope. But she well, dropped the mic after that. What are you gonna do after the miseducation? I of know. The there's, there's, a, there's a generation of people who have never but even it's, heard it's her. One, you know, but she's, it's classic. She's more of a Drake, where she sings and raps. But she really raps though. And she really sings too. At that time too, yeah. Like, she, like, really, she put Lauren Hill, Lauren Hill's a class. She's in a class, class by herself. By herself. She's yeah. in the nigga. Yeah. 
She's a she's an icon. I, yeah, we, I can't she's put a, it in like she's a goat. But when it comes to rapping, Nicki Minaj, say what you want about her, like she's one, one of the great all time. time. I'm gonna turn my camera off. Nah, she's one you of the Oh, yo, don't oh, get the Janet. Ball. Tell me three yeah. rappers that you like then, because I want to hear no, from. I don't really listen, listen to rap. Like I shouldn't even be on on for this segment to be honest. But not listen. She she has un, she has disqualified herself from having. Yes, I'm okay. disqualified. YouTube has been nice to me the last few weeks. I want to keep it that way. We're gonna keep it that way. If y'all trip on Janet, yeah. <laughs> That's on a song with Kanye West, Jay Z, and Rick Ross, and has the best verse. There's not many people on a song with three words now, man. But she did have the best. She verse. has the best verse yo, on the song. Yo, and this is real. This is like we're gonna do this right now. We had this argument in L.A. Okay, the best female verse of all time. <laughs> no joke. We it was like two in the morning. We I don't know where he's coming from. We was driving down Fairfax, and I'm like, yo, bro, that verse is hard. But Lil Kim's verse. On Quiet Storm, it's not better. Is the hardest, maybe the hardest we know. That monster, all time. that monster. Or, or her verse on Benjamin's. Either or. Benjamin's is, is, the, is, a, is a great verse. And then I will put Nicki. That's a great that. verse. But Nicki Minaj to have a better verse than Jay Z, Rick Ross, and Kanye West. You said Prodigy was the best rapper. Wow, that was my favorite rapper. Shout out to Prodigy. <laughs> and, at one, and ninety-four, you can argue Prodigy was and, the best. Yeah, hardest, hardest female verse. I, I don't like pitting women against it. And I'm not cat. I'm not doing a joke. I'm not doing a joke. Not, not women. We love our women. Nikki, hands down. I gotta listen to that monster record. Okay. And, 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 and all well, she was what 20 Yo, shout out to four someone, at the yeah. time. Somebody sent me an X. Shout out to shout out to No Limit. Nikki Minaj, that is a, a legendary verse. We didn't say Eve. We Eve, did we didn't say Eve. Eve is amazing. Yeah. We and, didn't. We I did. love you. Eve had a verses though. Why should we have said Eve? No, I don't do that. No, she won the greatest all time. Like, don't play. <laughs> we're saying the greatest. We're saying the greatest of all time. I'm confused. She won the greatest of all time. She, she in the top 10. I will say I respect um females. Guys, though. That's just I you can argue top three. She's one of the only women ever to do a song with X, and it's there. That's the same thing I said about Jada. Jada's the only person got on a song with Big and arguably was better. That counts for something. What song are you referring to? <laughs> 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 okay. All Wait, right. now, what are you saying, man? I thought you were going to say like she did a song with No Doubt and it was a number one. Hit. No, she did. What, now, what song? You what, what, have you not heard the Rough Riders anthem, like a, a, albums? The, the, remix? About the, remix? the remix. Yeah, you talking about the remix? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Name me seven rappers that's better than Eve. Then females. I don't know. I, I said she did a top ten. No, you can't. Nah, top ten. Top I'm with you, Ian. I, I'll, I'll be. I, I'll wait. What can I say? Don't worry, y'all wait. Oh, she did, she did. She definitely did for me. She definitely Bahama did. Bahamadia up there, Shauna. <laughs> you got to dig deep. Like we can have a three-hour rap, rap, rap combo. Like, yeah, like DTP, yeah, not a deep, uh, deep peach. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's that's because that's because you're from Chicago. She's from that area. Oh man, no, <laughs> no burn. Nah, Put out an album. When we no talk burn. about the top, we got. Foxy, yeah, Lil Kim. Kim, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, for sure. La Latifah could be mentioned in the top five. Um, Lauren Hill. Not top five. Lauren, I mean, well, Lauren Hill. That's she's stratosphere. Icon. That's stratosphere. She's, 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 she's out of here. She's, she's out of here. Okay. But you talking about bars, Foxy, Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj. Remy. Remy Mark. Yeah, and Remy right her own. Remy's bars. That count. Yeah. I'm going by y'all standards. Ramsey's we about to ruin like five relationships real quick. I know. <laughs> I know my DM is going to be like, yeah, we was going to invite y'all to the brunch, but <laughs> not this so year. They're going to take my yo, little Rock Nation can back and everything. Please. Who just put in Cardi B? Cardi B. Stop. No, no, stop, no, no, stop. No, no, Don't do this. No, no, no. no, no, no we're not going to do that. No, Look, no, y'all, no. it's been, it's far, it's it's been, been real. The boo in here. Yo, no, y'all no, 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 got to no, 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 relax. We can't We can't act like Cardi B is not the biggest. She's the biggest, yeah. Is what? In the world right now. Yes. Yeah. That means something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Supreme hustler too. Business acumen. Yo, I see y'all putting MC Light. I yes, MC Light is in our top 10. My top 10. Young MA. <sighs> Shout out to her though. She had, mm -hmm. she had she had a song. She had a, a quick moment. Um and she could rap though. She could rap. She could really rap. She can really rap. She can really rap. Really rap. Gotta, who, who was that YouTuber who put Gangsta Boy in here? Hey. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> don't say nothing bad about Gangsta Boo in the chat. If y'all from, I just want to know who it is. from, y'all know. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to Memphis. There's certain people names we can't play with. We ain't playing with. I just want to know. Who okay. 
I'm just saying. And yeah, we didn't mention Trina. Shout out to Trina. Shout out to Trina. That's who uh, Eve had the verses with. Okay. I, did anybody watch that? I never, mm-hmm. I missed it. I Might clip all this up. <laughs> Here you have all it. of it. <laughs> we didn't give y'all fire for 70 weeks. What are you not entertained? You got 90 yeah. education. Y'all want to know what dinner's like? We gotta with have us? Some, this we is gotta, what it's like. We gotta have some fun. Yeah. We gotta have some fun. You Let's go make some money balance. tomorrow. It's about balance. Life is about balance. <laughs> Extreme, you have to be balanced in life. Um, okay. Rewatch this show if you're interested in making money. Yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> go watch all the past episodes. Fire. If you want a scholarship, go through all the episodes and all the pics are there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep.